So on this slide, I've already shown you how to do these things in other videos. The timeline though, we've been taking notes for the timeline, but I'm gonna show you how to create the timeline page. So event number one, we're gonna just say this sets all scenes to start, okay? Event number one really on our timeline, if I come to our code and I look back at my comments, it would have started back here. Timeline number one was the flag. Timeline item number two, I believe is our space bar. Yep, so space bar key is pressed. That's what we need to do. And that we said, what did that do for us? I have to get back to my right page. There we go. The timeline number two, he says hello. The zoologist says hello. So I'm gonna come over to my slides. Where was Miss Watts's timeline? There it is. Okay, so timeline event number two, which is the space bar, I would type that in here, space. Okay, somebody's gonna click the space bar. And then what happens after that is that I am going to, oop, uh, zoologist says hello. So zoo, oop, that's control, so I don't lose that white font. Okay, and then you would say whatever happens at that zoo just says hello. Okay, and you would go through the what's the next event. So you go back to your code. Number three was when we pushed the down arrow to change his movement. Okay, and so you would put that on your slide. You would hit that the next thing we hit was down arrow. and moves moves the zoologist okay so you would put this onto the timeline okay and so that is filling in the timeline with all your events so go ahead and do that